Hello, my name is Jen Hillman and I'm with Bailey B. Believes and today we're going to talk about something nobody wants to talk about. We're going to talk about child sexual abuse. Today is Tuesday, January 27th, 2015 and first off I want to thank everyone who participated in a couple of weeks ago our challenge and our giveaway was Protecting the Gift by Gavin De Becker. I highly recommend everyone read this book. And the winner of the giveaway is Sarah Yarbrough. I'll be contacting you shortly so that I can give you this book. And today, the giveaway is going to be this little book said, I Said No. It's a great book for parents to read to children. I would recommend it for children ages five and over. Um, it's by Zach and Kimberly King. And what inspired her to write this book is what we're gonna talk about today, and that's sleepovers. She allowed her five-year-old little Zach to go to a sleepover next door. Her, his best friend was there, and the best friend started wanting Zach to participate in behaviors that were highly inappropriate and not your typical average curiosity um, that normal children engage in. Um, and he also used lies, saying things like, all the cool kids are going to do it, Zach, and he blackmailed him, Zach, if you tell, nobody will believe you, and he even bribed him. If you do this, I will give you $50. Um, and the mother, she's a teacher, she's an educator, and she felt like she had really prepared her children on if something were to happen on what they could do, but she was mistaken, and Zach went, um, he actually, he did a lot of problem solving when he was over that night and sleeping over, but he um, went to the mother at the party and the mother told everyone to go back to bed. He went to the sister and she kind of ignored it. And then um, he still felt really sick to his stomach. He knew what was going on was wrong and inappropriate. So he hid in the bathroom all night long where he felt safe. Um, and when his mother picked him up the next morning, he, she said that he collapsed in her arms and told her the entire story. And for about six months, he went through a lot of depression and a lot of withdrawal because it was very confusing. He was only five years old. That's very hard even for an adult to have to feel that way, but not um, a five-year-old. It's extremely difficult um, for them to be able to cope and to get through that kind of trauma. So today we're going to talk about sleepovers, and I am just really curious how you feel about sleepovers. Um, when I was growing up, I did a lot of sleepovers, and nothing bad or unusual happened. Um, I had a great time, but there were some friends in my life that their parents chose not to let allow them to do sleepovers, and hindsight's 2020. and now as a parent, I totally get that. Um, and I'm just curious, if you could comment below and just let me know, let's have a conversation. What what do you do in your family? What do you think is an appropriate age to have sleepovers? Do you feel like children are really safe at sleepovers? What precautions do you take? I'm curious. Um, do you just let your children go sleep over with whoever? Do you know who's in the house? Do you know their last names? Um, I'm just curious, and I want us... I want you to know that I'm not here to say you're a bad parent or you're doing something wrong. No. I feel like every mom um, does the best they can and they do everything they need to for their child. But once we raise awareness, you might start to think about things a little differently and if we're really setting our children up for success or failure. And so I'm curious what you and your family have decided, how you reached that decision, and what age you allow your children to sleep over. If you comment below and Remember, let's all encourage one another. No one's right or wrong. It's just that we're a community. We're going to work together to try to um, really continue to raise our awareness um, to get us to think about all of these things. And the winner, I will announce in a couple of weeks, whoever comments and I will draw um, a number will win this book. I said no, so you can read it to your children. Um, I look forward to your comments, and I hope you have a wonderful week and a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.